Next, I'm gonna carefully put some steel wool down there to see what happens. I'm gonna need your help for today's video, so if you have knowledge about electricity, make sure you watch until the end and let me know what's going on with this mousetrap. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out the oldest electric mousetrap that I've seen. And when I say electric, I mean the oldest mousetrap designed to electrocute mice when they go inside and touch two wires. Now I recently got this in a collection and I didn't know much about it. It's not listed in my mousetrap collecting books, so I had to do some research. The outer part of this mousetrap's made out of a ceramic. That's an insulator, it has a wire, the plug looks pretty old. Inside it has a metal tube and it's hard to see, but at the bottom there's a second metal plate. The idea is when the mouse tries to get the bait inside, it's touching the first metal tube, and when it connects with that bottom metal plate, it gets shocked. It looks like a fire hazard to me. It's basically two wires that are just connected to metal to fry a mouse. Now the only information I have on this trap is a label. It says, Electro Mouse Trademark Patent Pending. Now I did a trademark search and I couldn't find anything for the Electro Mouse. Now a major clue for figuring out how old this mouse trap is, is on one of the prongs of the plug it says Arrow h, h USA. And after doing a Google search of Arrow h, h what popped up was the Plug Socket Museum. I had no idea there was such a thing, but it listed our plug as circa 1930s. So with that information I did a patent search and I used the keywords electric and mouse trap and narrowed the time frame between 1930 and 1940. And at the top of our patent search I found what I was looking for, a patent for our mouse trap. It was patented by Lloyd D. Myers of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And if you look at our patent drawings, you can see our mousetrap with a top view and a side view. But now that I know how old our mousetrap is, I'm curious if it actually works. And it doesn't look safe at all. Bare wires, it could be a fire hazard. So we're gonna do some tests. The first test is we're gonna plug it in. I'll start by testing out if our wires still work. That one tin's lighting up, so it is getting power. Next, I'm gonna carefully put some steel wool down there to see what happens. After seeing those sparks, you think any mouse climbing down there would get fried, but I'm skeptical for a major reason. I've already posted a video on this mouse trap. It's called the Electrocutor. It's 10 years later from the 1940s. It has the same bare wires and it didn't work. When the mice touched it, they barely got a tickle, they jumped away, but they didn't get electrocuted. So something about plugging these old mouse traps in the wall just doesn't work. We're gonna test it out in the barn with motion cameras and see what happens to mice, but I have a feeling no mice will be harmed in the making of this video. Let's go see what happens.
Well, for a moment there, I was pretty concerned about my mouse trap when I saw that the squirrel had knocked it over. And also, it looked like it was gonna chew on the wire. But fortunately, I don't see any damage, any new cracks. These are pretty rare and valuable. Now the squirrel couldn't fit inside at all. It was way too big, but the mouse had no problem going down in there. And when it touched the wires, it got zapped and jumped out. Then it came right back for more food. So tell me, what is different about the type of electricity from the 1930s and 40s that once made these traps mice killers? Thank you so much for watching my videos and thanks to the fans who are sending me art. I love seeing the pictures. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch or sometimes not catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.